Don't forget to check out my Patreon where we have exclusive content for groups such as Twice, Seventeen, Red Velvet, Black Pink, NCT, Super M, Shiny, AT, Stray Kids, and so much more along with K-dramas, concerts, and other variety shows. Hey guys, Angie here and today we have a film log. I think this is Sakura's um, episode. Um, they have so many episodes, we have, but that also means we have more content, so I'm happy, but it's... I'm overwhelmed, not gonna lie. Um, but we did get requested the Lennyverse, so now I don't have to really worry about watching that as my own type of chosen video, so I can do a few of these this month. Um, but we have Sakura, and then I think next is Unche, and then Yunjin. So I wanna try to at least get these three out this month, so let's hop into the video. Alrighty. <laughs> it be that way sometimes. Oh, I like how they wrote Sakura's name. I bought a few of the things. Kazuha. Oh my god, I'm sorry. I, I'm so stuck saying it that way that I, I hate myself. Like, she's my bias. Can't say her name right. Probably will never be able to say it right. I truly apologize. I, I try to correct myself as much as I can, but... I don't know why it's kind of stuck that way now. Um, when I hear her, when I hear her or one of the members say it, I repeat it and you know try to say it right. But I bought a few things she recommended for exercising and uh, the massage things. So thanks, Queen. Should have been a product placement for her. She should got paid for that. <laughs> Okay, okay. You should never feel guilty. Eat what you want. You work so hard. Look how tired she is, my poor queen. Interesting. Interesting yogurt. I just had shrimp. It was delicious. Ouch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Trust me, we've seen from the documentary. I love this gray hair on her. Like, it's such a vibe. We love it. <laughs> She's eating like a little camel. Mm-hmm. She's so cute. I'm of the belief that the zero sugar stuff isn't even real. Mm. She said March, but it, it, it's it's April. <laughs> or does it say no? It's April, <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> That's cute. I would definitely just forget. Mm, okay, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh, 
There's something wholesome and endearing about her. Well, she has a calming, comforting presence. I feel like I could trust her. <laughs> I don't know why, but if I was an idol, I'd be nervous to have a diary. I mean, we did see what happened with Mina from AOA, so. But, like, I wonder how. How honest they are in their diaries. I love that honesty. She's very sincere. I feel like their slogan helped them. Oh. It's almost like faking it till you make it. <laughs> I feel like them singing it will make them feel confident. She's like a YouTuber. It's so natural for her. I love that. That's what I. That's exactly what I mean. That's what I like about her. She feels very like she's been in the industry so long that she just is just so natural for her. It's a T T T fragile, fragile. It's a T T T fragile. Oh, her hair's black. I liked the gray hair. I mean, she looks gorgeous with the black hair. It's, she's gorgeous with the hair she has. Uh, is this at a hotel? These two are always together. It's so cute. You can hear the shower. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but it sounds good. <laughs> Look at the fruit on the wall. <laughs> Aww. Poor thing. <laughs> Why can't she speak? Well, how do you feel? I'm sure most of you don't care. How do you feel about foreign idols speaking their native language in like vlogs and stuff? Because I feel like they should be allowed to. They translate or like they write the captions anyways. I feel like they should be allowed to. Um, also, it allows us to get their more most sincere words because I understand in interviews or talking to other members, of course, they're going to have to speak Korean. But on their own vlogs, I feel like they should be allowed to speak English, Korean, I mean Korean, English, Japanese, Chinese, whatever language they naturally speak. Because you have translators anyways. Um, so I just think, you know, they should just be allowed to speak in their native language when they're vlogging alone. Because like, then we can have the most sincere of them because if they're struggling to convey what they want, they're not going to be as sincere. That's why it usually takes a little longer for foreign members to get confident. 
and then also sometimes it takes a little longer for them to gain a fan base like a genuine fan base not just like ooh I'm Chinese so I like the Chinese title or ooh I'm from Australia so I like the Australian one you know what I mean she should not feel insecure about talking so much we'll move on to hear what she says advertising the camera that they're blurring they didn't blur that one. Oh. God, Yunjin is made for that style of photography. <laughs> Sick of her and her beauty. Mm. Me with Polaroids. Mm. Except when they mess up, they need to buy more. I think it's a full. Oh, her lap. Oh, she's so cute. What is she doing over there? She has so much equipment on her bed. I wonder what they're doing to where they're at a hotel. They're so cute. I like that they get excited for those things too. I feel like they're gonna forget. I doubt it. Nah, I figured. <laughs> I just, I felt it. I'm like, nah. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Fancy. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, I love how she's like, no, we're not just lying around. Like, they can lie down. It's fine, guys. <laughs> That's high stretch. It feels amazing. Oh, they're preparing the AGO. <laughs> That's cute. Okay, see you. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> oh,
<웃음> Look at her feet. <웃음> She's so cute. Okay. 아니 근데 뭔가 okay. 나는 느낌이 약간 안 좋은 게 그렇게 하는 단어가 그래요. 언니 한번 보여줘요 이렇게 할까? I think that happened, didn't it? 누가 했을까요? 아 그러면 Okay. We did did. It, it was me. Yep. <웃음> 아 그러면 Knew it. 그러면 이번 만세. 아 만세. That's her new nickname, Young Che. Young Che. <laughs> this is such. You know, I still can't not find it weird having this big of an age gap in a group. Like it's very endearing, but it's still weird to me. Because I'm just thinking to myself, hold on, my cousin who is five years older than me. Felt so much older than me when I was like Lunjay's age, and I'm like, wait, they're they're in, they have an eight year age gap, right? Seven seven years, seven year eight years, seven seven. Lunjay age, and then I think Sakura is the same age as me. Eight years. That's, I. That's too much to me. I love this group. I I always love this group. I love all the members. This is one of my favorite groups. But I still will not pretend like it's not weird to me. And almost like, I don't. It's not creepy. That's 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 not fair. It's not creepy. But like, it's just weird. It's it's it's. I don't think it's okay. Not for any like weird reasons. Just like. It just feels wrong. <laughs> like it's too big of an age gap, especially the the specific ages to me. It's just too too big. Like I I think the limit is maybe five years of like a gap between members because there's always these cute like oh different generation moments like Unche not oh she's too Gen Z and stuff like as if they're not all Gen Z but uh but then you really say and think like. That is weird. Like, it's too big. Like, there's no relatability between the two of them. They can make it happen. Like, I can always, like, find something to relate to, like, a teenager. Like, it, it can happen. But, like, it's just, it's really weird. Because I, I am an adult, and my cousin's an adult, and we still have five years between us, right? And I still feel, a, like, a slight disconnect because we still have an age gap. Like a distinct age gap, not like two or three years. So I can only imagine sometimes feeling like I always feel bad for members who are like in their twenties and they have like teenagers in their groups, and they naturally just have to take care of them. They have to like I I do think it's cute when Chewan takes care of Unche, but I'm still like dang she should never like that's another burden to put on them. Like you already have the burden of being the oldest and the burden of being an idol and the burden of like an everyday like job that's very hard on you but then you also have to put into account like taking care of a little like a literal like 15 16 year old girl and having responsibility put on you that i feel is very unfair and that's why i think idols should at least be like 17 or 18 like maybe 16 which she was but like do then then if she's gonna be 16 the i the oldest member shouldn't be 20 24 like that just i'm imagining being in a group as a 24 year old and having to live with a 16 year old and it just disgusts me <laughs> like i do not want to take care of a 16 year old girl i do not want to do it i do not want to live with a 16 year old like if i had a 16 year old sibling I would have definitely moved out like right away because like I just wouldn't want to live with a teenager like it's just it's just odd to me like because uh, I was sitting here like oh this is cute and then I'm like huh kind of reminds me of me and my cousin and I was like wait their age gap is bigger than me and my cousin yeah sure Sakura looks very young and seems very young but that's because she debuted so young that her mentality is probably still younger which is also sad. <laughs> Anyways, we got really deep all of a sudden. <laughs>
But yeah, it, this is very cute. I really, because I was like, oh, this is such a cute moment. And then I got sad thinking of everything. <laughs> I think they're sleep deprived. <laughs> this is like one of those moments where you're both so tired or like they were probably working out or something or dancing. So they're a little exhausted and then something just cracks you up and you're laughing the whole time. Naturally just stretching as one does. Bye bye. They're so cute. <laughs> you know when you hear that laugh, it's like, oh, that's Yun Chen. <laughs> I don't know if anyone else has the issues I have with age gaps. I've heard of like the underage issues, but... I think that's why NCT Dream works so well, because while it's uncanny that they were all so young, they were all so young in the same age range. So at least it, it, it didn't feel as weird. They seem like people who... who like staying busy. I don't know if I agree with that sentiment. There's such a thing as being too busy. But there's different mindsets and people. <laughs> yes. All her parts are amazing. <laughs> Oh no. Uh, uh, I'm so glad we got these after because then we can actually hear them singing the spoiler parts. I love that they were jamming to their own music. Like they were just like happily singing it. Her phone case is so cute. It's clear, but it has stuff on it. First mini album. Why? Why? Why is she pre-ordering? I guess she wants to experience Balik. Like, you can get one. You. That's what I do, if I can. Me when I don't get my bias. What if I don't get them? I just trade it. No, you just trade. <gasps> Video idea for an idol. Trading. I would love to see. I've seen idols try to get tickets like Song Chul of 17 and Onhyuk of Super Junior and stuff. But like the idea of an idol trying to trade a photo card and having to learn the like WTS, WTT, like Korea only, US only, like that type of stuff, like <laughs> to get into that. I would love to see an idol try to trade a photo card. <laughs> Finding the like templates and stuff. <laughs> Why is she struggling so hard? I don't understand. Has she not shopped? Has she never done it before? Maybe it's different in Korea. It's really not that hard. This must be a... This must be a thing in Korea. Because... Like, I just go to whatever shop I go to. Add it to the cart and that's it. <laughs> Wait, what'd she say? Maybe she did it on Weavers. Weavers is pretty trash. I wanna know I wanna know if she got it. I need confirmation. 
It's funny that she wants her own. <laughs> like if I was an idol, I wouldn't want my own photo card. I'd be tired of seeing my face. I already get tired of seeing my face. <laughs> She's so sentimental. I have this urge to, no judgment, because same, to get her lip, like lipstick or something. Or like a lip balm. I'm like her poor lips, they're so dry. <laughs> poor thing. Felt, definitely relate. I really liked her vlog. I love my my biases was like 25 minutes and everyone else is like, let's just do 19, 18 minutes. All these have been really cute. I, I was like, maybe one member might not be as interesting or something, but I can't see Unche or Yunjin's being boring. And Sukura and Zuha's and Chewan's were all very, like they're very relaxing, but they're not boring. It's very interesting. Oh, don't worry, they do. It was so relaxing, so nice. And it's definitely, it allows me to kind of grasp their individual personalities, which is my favorite part of it. Um, but that is it for this video. Next is gonna be Unche's, which I'm very excited about. I do adore her. Um, so I will see you guys in that video. Bye.